today we're going to start off with a, a good indoor planting session so we have some honeydew melon some cantaloupe melon climbing bellotti beans runner beans romanesco cauliflower some cavalo nero kale courgette black beauty courgette goldina pumpkin some seeds that I found in the shed when I took over the plot so I know there's some form of courgette but I don't know what uh, butternut squash so I'm going to get those all put in trays and then I shall bring you back once I've done it that's the indoor planting done with most of these I want two plants to plant out so I've, I've used two cells in most cases in each cell I've put two seeds so that gives me even if I get 50% germination I'm going to get the quantity that I need with the runner beans I've put one in each cell and the pack came with 12 in it so I should have 12 plants of that and I've set it up on the capillary matting system so now I'm going to head outside and do some direct sowing in the ground. I've raked over the, the ground as level as I can. I've put in the uh, string lines. They're at uh, 40 centimetre spacings, which is roughly right for everything that I'm about to be sowing. Some are slightly less, some are slightly more, but I don't think that's going to be too far off. So I'm going to put the drills in now, water the drills in, and then I'm going to get the seeds in and label them up. I've already got a few rows of dwarf French beans and some shallots. This is the uh, the new plot. Still a lot of work to do on it, but I think once these crops are in, I've got the the rest of the week to try and dig over. I've started a little bit of digging in that far corner over there, you can just see. So I'm gonna get that section done. And then this section I think is where I'm going to put all the squashes so they can spread out a little bit. So I don't need to worry too much about digging it over. As long as I dig an area big enough to put the plants in, I can let the leaves spread out, which will suppress the weeds a little bit and buy me a little bit of time. All the drills are now in. And they've been watered, ready to plant the seeds in. So I shall get that done and then come back to you. We've got in three rows of beetroot, two rows of spinach, and two rows of carrots, which is a pretty good day's work for me. I'm happy with that. I think I'll uh, pop home for a bit of lunch. One last job I'm going to do before I go home is, if you see, we've got the two water barrels here, rain comes into the blue one, and then the overflow goes through from the blue one into the dirty white one. But what happens is, if you drain all the water from there, that's going to be completely empty, whereas this one could still be full to the fill level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of hose pipe and I'm going to set up a siphon system which should balance the water equally between the two barrels and so you won't ever run out of water in the white barrel because it will pull it through from the blue barrel so I shall set that up now see if I can find a location to video from and show you what I'm doing and as normal whenever you set anything up it instantly starts to rain so We'll give it a few minutes. I'll take shelter inside this bit of a greenhouse and then we'll pop back out in five minutes to see where we get. So the system will work on water pressure. And it'll try and balance this off like because if there's more water in there, it wants to force it into there. And if there's more in there, it wants to force it into there and vice versa. So all you do is take a length of hose submerge it in one of the barrels just let all the water come out and then put your finger on one end keep the other end in the barrel and then pop that into there and gradually 
over time the water will drain from the blue barrel into the white barrel and equal the two out. It might take a little while because it was a very, very small pipe. So I'll leave it for five minutes and then we'll come back and see where we're at. There you go, through the power of physics, the two water barrels have now balanced themselves out. You can see where it's gone, that was where the water level was originally. So all that water's gone from there into there. So the, if you were to put a spirit level across the two now, they would be perfectly in line. And so when you take anything from the tap at the bottom, it will draw equally from both tanks. What I'm going to do now is, now the rain's finally stopped, I've got three, three barrels here. The end one is virtually empty. That one's two thirds and this one's near the top. So I'm going to set up a triple system to take water out of the first blue barrel into the second barrel, then from the second barrel into the dustbin. And I'll record that on a time lapse and hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. looking pretty level now so you can see how the how the process works and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another container to put in the middle and I'm going to connect it up to that bin well what I'll do is I'll move that bin down one and I'm going to get a, a water butt with a tap on it so that will give me access to all five water butts on that side and if I wanted to I could loop a hose over the roof to the barrel on the other side then every water barrel would be interconnected but I may not do that I think it's a bit over the top but that's the idea right uh, thank you all very much for watching hope you enjoyed today's video and I shall see you all again soon thank you and goodbye